with a lineup of Hollywood A-listers, including Jason Sudeikis. And playtime! Jason Bateman, Common, Kate Beckinsale. Make love to me, Latte. And the late Ray Liotta in one of his final movie appearances. Latte pronto! Excuse me, Mr. Pronto. Can I call you Latte? Ken Jeong calls his role in Fool's Paradise his best ever. It's my favorite thing I've done in my film career. This is why I quit my, my medical job. As a doctor to do acting, you wanted to live for moments like this. And I got to meet Kate out of this, this impressive cast. Win. This win. Huge win. <laughs> Huge win. Only on Extra. You and me are going to do big things, pal. Ken plays a down-on-his-luck publicist who discovers a recently released mental patient, played by the film's writer and director, Charlie Day, who bears a striking resemblance to an actor who refuses to leave his trailer. Mo, Mo, stars coming through! It's a hyper-real version of Hollywood, which sort of is now, but also is the 40s. Have you ever had a publicist? like your character. Uh, th this character was was uh, was really all of Charlie's creation and I just comedically was just in love. As we went on, it was it became something more deeper and more emotional and I've never been involved in a project where while in the middle of shooting Charlie was like this is a this is a different character and as we finished he rewrote he rewrote a significant amount of the movie that and we had a resh an 11th hour reshoot where my character was made more of the emotional core. Did you watch What Do You Think of Our New King? I didn't watch it in real time, but my mother is very concerned that I experienced the UK in real time, so my phone memory is destroyed. <laughs> yes, and her mom and favorite Insta co-star, Judy. <laughs> you fucker! You fucker! Created a play-by-play -play of King Charles' coronation just for her daughter. My mum videoing off the telly, sort of five hours of stuff. <laughs> You've met Charles, haven't you? Prince Charles. Oh, King, King Charles. Charles, sorry. I can't get there yet. It's gonna take King me a minute. Charles. I'm sorry, I like I like record players. It takes me a long time to warm up to a new thing. <laughs> So. You've had a while to warm up to it. I have, but I still miss record players, and I've got an iPhone 14, so that, <laughs> look how long it's taken me. And of course it rained. <laughs> it, you, you may have waited this long to be king, but you're going to get wet. <laughs> That's so British. Like, just don't get too big for your boots, or your fur's going to get so British. <laughs> I did enjoy all that. I do really enjoy all that. I think you enjoy it more when, you, when you're away from home. We'll be right back with British talk right after this with <laughs> no, without that. Ken Jeong weighing in. I want you to weigh in because I know you watched the whole thing. I, I actually did watch, um, you know, highlights of it and there's something, I mean, in, in, obviously something incredibly historic, something very beautiful. But first, Ken and Kate are taking a wild ride through Hollywood. Don't worry, pal. I'll get it back on top. When Fool's Paradise hits theaters on Friday. Gotta get down big time.